Well, in my last video, I mentioned that we are going to be putting in a little potager or a kitchen garden right outside our house, right by the deck. And that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how we're going to prep the area. We've let the chickens do their thing. And now today's the day. Let's get started. So I'm just gathering up the, the helpers here. You guys all ready to go? Yep. My helpers. You ready to go? You got your hat? Yeah. All right. Okay, hey, you gonna help us? <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna get outside and we are going to move the chickens first. Um, we might bring them back in, but we're gonna get the tiller out. Finally got myself out the door. A bit of a traffic jam, the boots and stuff. So I'm just coming out here to check on my plants. There you go. It's a little coming out more. Except I'm getting a little oomph. Yeah, you're giving a little oomph.
Well, I just finished leveling after tilling and digging out all the big lumps of grass and tree stump and all that th stuff. So now we're that we've got it relatively level, it's relative. I'm a perfectionist, but this is enough. So we're gonna get some cardboard down here and we're gonna stake that and then wet it. Then we'll put the boxes in place and then hopefully we can get to mulching it later and then we can fence it in on the weekend and be ready to get going with the planting. So here goes. We ran out of boxes, so I gotta get more. So we finally found enough cardboard to cover the area and I'm just putting a few more stakes into this. My son wet the cardboard once. I'm gonna wet it again, put the boxes in place and then we're gonna fill them. So here we go. A lot of people resort to buying weed paper, but we had lots of cardboard boxes. At least I thought we had lots of cardboard boxes, so we had to go dig up some more. And they would have been just recycled, so I might as well use them here. Some people buy rolls of cardboard. I don't even know where to buy those, so this is what it is. We've done this before living in a city when we had our small kitchen garden, and uh, it works quite well. It will break down, and uh, serve its purpose hopefully to stop the weeds a little bit. If I had a couple more weeks I would have put a tarp down to really uh, cook the soil a bit but I didn't. You could technically put a tarp down in an area that you want to use as a garden space and you can do that like six months ahead of time. This is my I didn't think about this last fall version. <laughs> I'm just getting her done now. All right gotta keep going trying to make sure there aren't too big of cracks. So the other thing I wanted to mention is that you saw earlier in the video our tiller was giving us a lot of problems. I'm trying to turn away from tiller methods of gardening. That's why we're raising the beds in the, in the main crop garden. That's why we're doing this here because the tiller has been nothing but trouble. The kids changed the belt on it. I can't run the tiller, but you saw my kids using it. I have a bad shoulder, so they do that for me, thankfully, but I don't want to always have to rely on somebody else to do it for me. So, this way, I don't have to rely on a tiller. We didn't have one in the city. We had a patch like this in the garden, and we dug it all with a shovel and uh, with a spade, and it was fine. We did it, it took us probably a little over a week, just chipping away at it bit by bit. But this was much faster. I'm glad that we have the tiller, but I'll be happy when I don't have to use it anymore. Well, <laughs> don't have to make somebody else use it for me. <laughs> my daughter in to get me the measuring tape because I want to put these in the right spot. I did tilt and I didn't mention why I tilt. The reason I tilt was because you could see at the beginning of the video this was really sloped and really high and I wanted a pretty flat surface so you don't get major runoff and I'm hoping I'm hoping that the chickens got a lot of the weeds and that it'll all look good. I'm pretty sure it will. I'm just tacking these in place So we came over here to check on what kind of stuff we can put. We want to put organic matter in underneath the soil. In the city we fill them with twigs and leaves and stuff like that. And I was just checking the junk pile to see if there's any bigger pieces of rotten wood we could put in the bottom. So I'm going to go around and grab some brush, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. For you it'll be just in a couple seconds and I'll get back to it, I'll get all the kids helping. They're all needing to go to bed now, so I'm going to sign up for now, I'll be right back. started filling the garden boxes. Now this is some rotted chicken manure and some pine shavings that we use in the coops. 
that was piled up for quite a while. So we're gonna put that at the bottom because it's, I'm not sure how long it's been rotting and there could be still a little bit of an ammonia content in there and I don't wanna burn my plant. So I'm gonna put that at the bottom. Next, we're gonna put in a layer of compost. Now, this is food scraps. I'm not worried about whether it's fully decomposed or not. I just wanna add that to the soil. Yesterday, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do, but today I'm doing more of a lasagna garden. I was gonna put sticks in the bottom like I did when I was in the city, but I just feel like this is something we need to get rid of anyway, so I'm gonna use this instead of sticks. My daughter was raking up some leaves. We're gonna get some leaves in there, and then we're gonna put some of the other stuff that we bought. We just emptied the compost tumbler. We had that like as a city thing. It's not really practical here on the farm, but I thought if I have it close to the house, have it for the garden scraps when we pull out stuff and they can decompose in there. I'll get it in a nice position once we have the fence up. So you don't have to worry if things aren't completely decomposed. They will decompose. It will encourage worm activity. I'm getting the kids to dig up worms. I started collecting some in a bucket of dirt over there. And I want to add more because they're poop is gold. We vermicompost in the city. We haven't started that here at all. We sold everything before we left. But they are wonderful little creatures that really help increase the soil uh, nutrients and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm just, I've been wetting down each layer as I go. Oh, that's 